Hi guys, in this clip I am going to teach you how to use the Eclipse Reservoir Simulator. Uh, this video is just about the basics of using reservoir, Eclipse Sim Reservoir Simulator. And in next videos I am going to teach you how to write the data file and how to run the very complex uh, reservoir model. First, uh, you need to have Schellenberger Simulation Launcher or SSL. Uh, basically, this is a Eclipse software. So when you click on uh, Schellenberger Simulation Launcher, uh, you will find uh, simulators, different simulators, Eclipse E300 Francy and Intersec if you have a license. And you are going to find the Eclipse pre and post uh, simulation tools, which is flow grids, flow with office, PBTI, schedule, and different section. And you, are, you can find the manual Eclipse reference manual here in the Eclipse manual section. Starting from the simulator, uh, you can find a very uh, important simulators that you need to know for now is Eclipse and E300. I'm going to cover FranSim and Intersec in another video. Uh, first, what is the difference between Eclipse and E300? Eclipse can be used for the black oil model. What is a black oil model? In the black oil model, composition of fluid, oil, water, or gas is not changing during the reservoir simulation. For example, you are going to simulate water flooding. You know that in the water flooding, composition of water and oil are the change in the composition of water and oil is not significant. So we can consider that uh, oil and water composition are constant. So in these cases, you need to use Eclipse. Or when you have immiscible gas injection, you can use Eclipse for the that simulation. But when you have miscible gas injection, when the composition of gas is changing during the reservoir simulation, and you need to know what is the composition of oil and composition of water in different pressure and different location of the reservoir, so in this case you need to use a compositional simulator or E300. Another example of E300 is immiscible bag injection, water alternating gas injection. Eclipse provide you some pre and post tools that you can use these tools to, to analyze your results or see your reservoir uh, 3D, 3D uh, it, you can visualize your reservoir uh, using these tools. For example, uh, you want to see, visualize the reserv your reservoir and you want to see what's the fluid flow inside the reservoir, so in this case you can use Flowis. Or you want to see what's the recovery factor and you want to have a curvature of the reservoir for example, re or recovery versus time, or we want to have a pressure, different pressure, changing the pressure versus time, uh, and you want to have a graph for that. So in this case, you need to use office. Uh, you need PVTI because in your simulator, you need to include what your flows are changing What's the, what's the changing of your fluid properties with different pressure and temperature. So in this case, you need to have, you need to run PVTI and you need to insert your uh, PVT properties of your fluids and you need to export the result of PVTI in your data file. This scale can be used to include relative permeability, capillary pressure, or other laboratory experiments, and you can include these experiments in your data file. One important thing uh, uh, simulator launcher is Eclipse Manual. 
uh, if you click on the Eclipse manual you will see that you have a PD, PDF file and if you click on run this PDF will appear okay so you have too many options here for example you can have uh, if you want to know how to use FlowWiz, you can click on the FlowWiz user guide. Or if you want to know how to use PVTI, you can click on PVTI reference manual. Or how to use FlowGrid, how to use Escal, or different sections of the uh, different pre and post tools, uh, Eclipse tools. But one of the very important things in these tabs is uh, Eclipse reference manual. If you click on the Eclipse Reference Manual, you will see another PDF, which is very long PDF. You can see it's a 2,800 something pages. Uh, why this PDF is very important? Because you can find different keywords here. Each of these words are the keywords that you need to enter in your data file. For example, you want to say, let's take diamonds. Uh, keyword. If you click on the diamonds the keyword, you will find the explanation, general explanation for the keyword, which says that diamonds is, is specifies the dimension of the grid. Okay, and you have more descriptions in this section. You have one example how to use this keyword, and you have one table here. This table shows that this keyword diamonds can be used in the Eclipse 100, Eclipse 300, and it should be used in the run spec section of your data file. And you have one example here. For example, it says that dimensions is 10, 3, 4. It means that divide my reservoir in x direction to 10 grids, in y direction in 3 grids, and in the direction in four grids. So when you have a data file and when this Eclipse is running your data file, when it reaches to the diamonds keyword, it's looking for the first number and it will assign 10 grids in X, di X dimension, three grids in Y dimension, and four in the Z. And each diamonds uh, keyword is ending with a slash okay so what is a data file right now basically data file is the input file for the Eclipse so if you want to run the Eclipse you need to have this data file for Eclipse if you are intending to uh, run Eclipse or black oil model so you need to write this data file uh, with a black oil uh, keywords and if you want to have a compositional simulator or compositional simulation you need to write this uh, data file uh, based on the e300 keywords but what is the how to generate this uh, data file data file basically is a text file okay so it's a text file for example tutorial text file so if you see the type of um, this document or this document is a text document okay but you need to run you need to enter different keywords inside this uh, text file and you need to save it okay so when you save that, uh, let's say tutorial, you need to type all files and then you need to specify that data. Okay, so when you save this file, you will see that you have a tutorial which is data file. Okay. Eclipse doesn't read any text document, so you need to change every text document to the data file. Now, you can edit this data file and add keywords and its properties in here in this uh, 
text file and you can save it and run in the Eclipse. For example, I have a low sanity injection data file here which is from the data file uh, library of the Eclipse. So if you click in this low sanity data file you can see different keywords here for example diamonds you can see here and there is uh, 15 15 and 3 numbers and ending with a slash uh, based on the reference manual Eclipse reference manual uh, we know that diamonds is specified the dimension of the grid so in this reservoir our reservoir ha will be have 15 grids in x direction, 15 grids in the y direction, and 3 grids in the z direction. And also you can find other keywords that I am going to cover all these keywords in the next videos. Now imagine you have this data file and you want to run it. How you can run it? Because this data file is generated based on the black oil model so you need to click on Eclipse and if you click on Eclipse you will see this window and then click on add dataset and go and find the, the, the data file that in your computer in this case we are going to run low sanity data file and then click on open Oops, just a minute. Okay, so it, you can't have space. You can't have a space in the naming, so I just change the name to allow underline sanity. So if you click here and open. This data file will be added here in this section. Okay, so you can select this data file and click on run. When you click on run, Eclipse is going to run the simulation and if you don't have any problem or error, you will find the results. Okay, so simulation is done. If you if the sim, you finish the simulation successfully, the Eclipse is going to generate many files. Okay, so before we had only low sanity file, this file, and the tutorial one that it was just for the tutorial, and you can see different files here. Okay, which I am going to explain what is the meaning of these different uh, files in the next video. But now you want to analyze the results. Okay, first thing that you want to analyze is, for example, you want to see what's the recovery factor. So you need to click on Office and Run. Uh, if you click and run to the Office, uh, your Eclipse Office post processor tool uh, will appear and you need to load the results inside this uh, Eclipse office. So click on results and when you click on results, click on file, open, summary and load all vectors. So in the, in the file, in the folder that you run that Eclipse file, it means that this folder, you will have different data data different uh, files but the one that's important for the office right now is smspec file so this file so click on the file and open now uh, you will see the results here for example if you want to check what is the recovery factor field recovery factor or field oil efficiency you can click here and you, you, 
this graph will appear so it shows the uh, field oil efficiency dimensionless number to the time and you can find here now uh, you want to see what's the what's the reservoir so if you want to see the three dimension of the reservoir and the grids properties so you need to go to the grid section click on the grid and in this time the file that has extension of egrd egrid will appear so open this egrid and click on ok so you, there is an icon here so you need to click on this and your your reservoir will appear here so this is the reservoir and if you remember from the diamonds data file we said that uh, divide this reservoir in the 15 grids in the x direction and 15 in the y direction and 3 in the z direction and you can see 15 grids in the y direction x direction x direction 15 in the y direction and 3 in the z direction now uh, you and this uh, red line shows the oil saturation if you click in run you will see the water flooding scenario low sanity water flooding scenario and you will see the uh, water is pushing oil to the production well from the injection well uh, basically this is a, a, a basically this is a general uh, tools that we are using in the Eclipse to analyze the results and to see the, our uh, our model in the Eclipse. So in the next video, I am going to teach you how to run the data file, and also I am going to teach you uh, what is the uh, different uh, icons here what's the meaning of different icons in the grid section and the office section